Well, Mika, what we believe is that Obamacare uh, has been a job killer. Uh, we believe, as most Americans do, uh, this bill's cost is going to exceed the trillion dollars in the first budgetary window of 10 years, has the potential to bankrupt not only our country, but the states. Uh, and if you look at what's going on in the regulatory arena in this town, the agencies have followed up the passage of that bill by implementing some real job-killing regulations. We've got to stop that. And when I talked to the president yesterday, I asked him um, that, I, you know, I told him, I said, we're ready to listen to you in your State of the Union address. And we are looking to see some specifics as far as how he sort of reevaluated his thinking in terms of the regulatory environment here in Washington to make sure that we stop the job-killing rules that are but, coming but out. But, Congressman, I mean, in terms of what's politically realistic and in terms of trying to work together, is that really where Republicans want to put all their energy? Well, where we're putting our energy, Mika, as you said, it is about jobs. And the one thing that we keep hearing from small businesses and large is the Obamacare bill is chock full of rules and regulations in the agencies that have now provided big disincentives for hiring. That's part of what's going on in this economy is folks' uncertainty about where Washington's going next in the health care arena. That's why we are going to see a health care repeal bill come across the floor next week in the House. Hmm.